Dear friends, today we will delve into one of the most fascinating mysteries that have marked the path of the Christian faith, the apparition of the Virgin Mary at Fatima. This event not only shook the world with its prophecies but continues to influence millions of believers in every corner of the planet. But what really happened in this remote Portuguese village, and what message did the Virgin leave us? Stay with us to find out, imagine the sky above Portugal in the distant year of 1917, three young shepherd children, after receiving a crucial message from a divine figure, what secrets did they receive from this heavenly presence, and how did they influence the course of history? Before we delve into this extraordinary story, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and enable notifications, so you never miss our explorations into the mysteries of faith. In the heart of Portugal, among rolling hills and green fields, lies a small village called Fatima. At the beginning of the 20th century, this place was little more than a collection of modest homesteads and agricultural land, far from the main arteries of progress and industrialization that were transforming Europe. Here, life flowed to the rhythm of the seasons and the deeply rooted religious traditions in the hearts of the people, in 1917. While the world was reeling from the war-torn events of World War I, a conflict that brought death, destruction, and an unprecedented spiritual crisis, Portugal was no stranger to such suffering. Many young men went off to war, leaving behind anxious families and abandoned fields. In this climate of uncertainty and tribulation, the Portuguese people clung even more firmly to their faith, seeking comfort and hope in prayer and religious practices. Marian devotion, in particular, was deeply ingrained in the nation's heart, with shrines and pilgrimage sites attracting faithful from far and wide. It was in this seemingly insignificant village in the eyes of the world that three children, Lucia dos Santos and her cousins Francisco and Jacinta Marto, would experience an event destined to make them witnesses to a message that would resonate through the ages. Lucia, ten years old, along with Francisco, nine, and Jacinta, seven, were the children of shepherds accustomed to simple life, work in the fields, and caring for animals. Their daily routine was marked by a solid religious upbringing acquired both at home and through active participation in parish life. Despite their young age, they were well aware of the hardships faced by their country and their families but found in their faith a source of strength and hope. The choice of Fatima as the site of the Marian apparitions could not have been random, this village represented the deep spirituality and simplicity of Portuguese rural life and was destined to become the stage for an event that would convey a message of peace and conversion to the world. On the morning of May 13, 1917, it seemed like any other for Lucia, Francisco, and Jacinta. After attending Mass, the three cousins headed into the fields to graze their sheep, unaware that their lives were about to change forever. While playing in a small clearing known as Cova de Iria, near their village of Fatima, the sky darkened for a moment, and they heard a noise like thunder. Looking up, they saw a glow of light, which they thought was a sign of imminent rain. They then decided to gather their flock. However, as they set off for home, another glow struck them, and they saw above an oak tree a female figure brighter than the sun. This vision was of indescribable beauty and radiated light more intensely than a crystal struck by the sun's most vivid rays. A detail Lucia would remember for a lifetime. The beautiful lady, as Lucia called her, asked the children not to fear and revealed herself to have come from heaven with an important message. She asked them to return to the same place for six consecutive months, every thirteenth of the month, promising that in the end, she would reveal her identity and the purpose of her apparitions. In this first apparition, the Madonna emphasized the importance of prayer, asking the little shepherds to recite the rosary daily to obtain peace in the world and the end of the war. The message was simple but profound, rooted in the context of a world war that had caused so much pain and destruction. The children's initial reaction was a mixture of wonder and fear but also of profound inner peace. Despite their young age, they felt a strong sense of responsibility for the task entrusted to them. They decided to keep the apparition secret, but Jacinta, 
overwhelmed by emotion, eventually revealed everything to her family. The reactions were mixed, while the Mardo family believed the children, there was skepticism and ridicule from many residents, including Lucia's relatives. From May 13 to October 13, 1917, the Cova de Iria became the stage for a divine encounter that would forever change the lives of the three children and captivate the imagination and devotion of millions of people worldwide. Each month, more and more people gathered to witness the events, eager to see with their own eyes the signs of the supernatural. The number of attendees grew from a few dozen at the first apparition to thousands by the end of October, attracting the attention of the media and religious and civil authorities. However, despite pressure to retract their stories or reveal the secret entrusted to them by the Virgin, the three children remained steadfastly faithful to their testimony, ready to endure any persecution to keep their promise to the Lady of Heaven. The culmination of the apparitions occurred on October 13, 1917, when the Madonna revealed her identity as Our Lady of the Rosary and performed the miracle of the sun before tens of thousands of witnesses. In that instant, the sun seemed to dance in the sky, changing color and size in a way that no scientific explanation could ever provide. For many, it was a moment of conversion and renewal of faith, with reports of healings and conversions spreading rapidly throughout the country. However, despite the power of this miracle, the message of Fatima was even deeper and more urgent. It called for a conversion of hearts, a return to God and prayer as the only way to obtain peace in the world. The Madonna had also shared three secrets with the children, which would have significant repercussions on the course of 20th century history. The first secret concerned a vision of hell, which terrified the children and led them to engage even more deeply in prayer and penance for the salvation of souls. The second secret foresaw the end of the First World War and the coming of another conflict if humanity did not convert and return to God. The third secret, revealed only in 2000 by Pope John Paul II, described the assassination attempt on the Pope and the sufferings of the Church, an event that actually occurred on May 13, 1981, with the attempted assassination of Pope John Paul II in St. Peter's Square. Fatima continues to attract millions of pilgrims from around the world, eager to pray at the feet of the Virgin Mary and to seek her intercession. The message of Fatima, with its call to prayer, penance, and conversion, remains today more relevant than ever in a world marked by violence, hatred, and division. May the Madonna of Fatima intercede for us all and guide us on the path of peace and reconciliation. Thank you for being with us on this journey through the mysteries of Fatima. Don't forget to leave a like, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our upcoming explorations. And now, we leave you with a prayer to Our Lady of Fatima, O Most Holy Virgin, Mother of God and Our Mother, who appeared at Fatima to enlighten the path of lost humanity, accept our prayers and intercede for us before your Son Jesus. Lead our steps on the path of peace and conversion, grant us the courage to witness the gospel in every time and place, and instill in our hearts the trust and hope necessary to face life's challenges. Mother of mercy, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen.